It's the frantic moment officers noticed what was about to occur. A freight train colliding into a Platteville police cruiser parked on train tracks along Highway 85 and County Road 36. Dispatch get us medical emergent. The suspect was in the vehicle that was hit by the train. Locked inside the police cruiser. Get your hands up. Turn around. 20-year-old Yareni Rios Gonzalez. What's going on? Police detained Rios Gonzalez for an alleged road rage incident earlier in the night. Where are you taking me? We're taking you to the car. About a minute and nine seconds after Rios Gonzalez was placed in the back of the police cruiser handcuffed, the train's horn is heard for the first time in the distance on this body cam recording. About seven seconds later, she could have out that window, another horn. Who is, is that hard? This time louder, but still no reaction from police. Over the next eight seconds, even more horns are heard before these two officers realize Rios Gonzalez is in danger. But still in the hospital, according to her attorney, Paul Wilkinson. She has a broken arm that she has had surgery on, nine broken ribs, a fractured sternum, broken teeth, uh, injuries to a leg, back, and head. Many questions remain. The biggest, why the officer parked the cruiser on the tracks, why that officer then put Rios Gonzalez in that cruiser, and why it took critical seconds to notice the approaching train. The most alarming thing for me is that you can hear the train coming. Um, and it's at nighttime and the train has lights also. Um, so you can both hear and see the train coming. Wilkinson says Rio Gonzalez heard and saw that train coming well before officers did. She was trying to get everybody's attention. But unlike those officers, she could do nothing to save herself. She was trying to get their attention. She was yelling. She was trying to escape.